Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as guardians and Hellheimers. This has been requested a couple of times now. I figured the first one was all right. So, let's give uh, episode two a shot. This is Fierce to Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -oh. I think I broke something. Oh, there we go. June 16th. What year? Mm, 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 mm. Let me know the year. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. It's what, uh, yeah, three years. I still remember this very clearly and how it creeped, how creeped out I felt. God damn. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may even, getting it out may help even if just for a little bit. God, I am dyslexic as shit today. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, they are a pain in the ass, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it is now the, now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take a long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. God damn. For me, fucking, I'd be damn near into fucking. Oklahoma, almost. Why do I got to get out? Why do you want to get out? Yeah, I got a skateboard. Okay. Yeah, no, let's get out of here. I don't like that music and I can't turn it off. Oh, thank God. Uh, how do we look at messages? I forget. Oh. Er, hold up. Oh, my God. Uh, where do we start? Dad, you called. Yeah, I think I'm going to... To that convention, could I get the car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Tuesday. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Adrian Williams. Or Aiden. Fuck. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safely. Okay, so they shared the number of this one in case something happened. Okay. Alright, hey, Discord, we got ticks, so I'll see if I can get the car. Let me let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol. LR, LOL. Hold up. Oh, God, the fucking branches. All right. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see why. Peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. 
Okay. There should be a G. Never mind. Smiley face. Again, you sure driving all the way back? Okay, I got an achievement. I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That was us a couple days ago. Spent an hour in fucking line because of six power call up. That sucks. It's not that not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. All right. That's cool as shit. We can actually drive though. Be nice if I could actually see through the mirrors. Yeah, I've taken a lot of fucking back roads. But uh, the only time I ever see them have barbed wire is around military installations or government facilities. I thought that was an actual sign. Oh boy, there's no sprint. All right, get back in the fucking car. No, I thought the bushes were feet in front of me. See, shit like that. That's usually only near military installations. Or, well, that and airports. Oh, great. Okay, that had a gate. Never mind. Uh, what did you read? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Okay. Told you to take the flight. Thanks, Dad. God damn it. I'm driving. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach it. Hope you're feeling all right. Oh. There was a person there. There was a fucking person there. Norwood Gas Station Automotive Fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your building's cracked. Okay, hold on. We're, yeah, we're in a gas station. You, they're not going to have a fucking snack vending machine because they ain't make no money. Holly! Mom. Hello, creepy man. How's your night going? <laughs> you look like a motherfucker that would be killing somebody. Okay. What you doing? Oh, you playing solitaire. There's no switches for the pump unless you minimize that game. And even then... Hell, that looks like a, around a 95 computer. Ma'am? 
Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump two? Ten dollars, goddamn. This must be the nineties. Underneath fucking current fucking administrations, we ain't had no gas this cheap. You heading to the? There's that van again. Mm. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? Yes, why or huh? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And the people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down from the trees. Ah, oh, that's cool and all. Can I can't use your pisser? It's not cleaned. Where the fuck would the bathroom even be? You got pumped too. Thank ye. Oh, one more thing. If you see a woman in white or a blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. I told you it was the fucking van. He just came from our car. Hey, puto! Fucking asshole. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. <sighs> we got a flashlight. Let's get the dog food, Milo. That is my mother-in-law's dog's name. I wonder if it's a Yappy Pomeranian too. Anything else, ma'am? Uh, I tried, but you wouldn't let me. Eh. Yeah. Oh, I guess I ain't getting Milo's dog food. There's got to be a way. Tell me he's got more dialogue. You heard about the Norwood, huh? Big mistake. What? Can I just keep throwing shit at this fucker? I'm throwing shit at you. Yes. I need the goddamn dog food. Fucking bendejo. Please! Please!
No. What else can I throw? I'm gonna throw a fucking chocolate bar at you. No, you ain't called them yet. Well, I am trying to buy the fucking dog food. <laughs> That's a fucking mess. What else can I throw? Do I need to get a basket for it? No. There's a lot of shit just on the shelf that should be refrigerated. You are the worst gas station attendant. Do you're not? No, you're not. Taking these smokes. Whatever. That's three, four, that's one. Fuck, I'm on pump two. I got back up. All right, we're finally back. I got the car in the right spot. We're going to go in here. And while I was coming back, I did. I knew I had saw somebody walk into the fucking woods. <sighs> Mom, Holly, yeah, yeah. I got to get dog food. Really? Hello? Oh, that's not creepy. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Uh, all right, I'm not going to revoice this dude. Yo, this motherfucker popped my tire. Oh. I literally watch that dude walk up to my front tire and pop it. See, now I can pay him. That's actually not, that's not a bad price for this. This is a decent sized bag of dog food.
Really? There we go. All right, let's get our gas. Yeah. I got one big one, two little ones. Five dollars for that bag of dog food would be great. All right. And I know as soon as we go down the road, our tire will be popped. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What do you realize? Monsters truly do exist. Yeah, I saw the motherfucker walking in the woods, and every single one of them looks just like you and me. You realize it takes a while to... Why did my headlights cut off? Did he... What the fuck? As I was saying, it takes a little while for dog food to actually expire. It would have had to sit on that shelf for a long time. There's a car in front of me. Ah, uh, yeah, he fucked with the electrical. Jokes on you, I can see in the dark. What in the fuck is going on? Because not only that. Wait, was I supposed to stop and pitch somebody up? And I was driving. Now we're on a dirt road. Bridge. Nope. We ain't stopping. We going full fucking bore. Yo. My town had a bridge like this. They've been around since like the fucking Civil War. They tore it down. I'm just going to ignore the fact that the lights started fucking up again. Now the trees are barren. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Whee! About like my driving in fucking one human. Keep forgetting I could take my finger off the W. I seen a broke down truck. What the fuck? Nope, I do not care. There's a very weird thing about the night. Oh, fuck me. Thought I could drive past the logs, but they wouldn't budge. Yeah, I'm a strong motherfucker.
Yeah, there's something in the woods. Why are you moving that way? How much further do you got to move them? Wow, you need that much fucking room? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I started believing whatever bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled, but I would be lying if I didn't feel the slightest bit of unease. I'm mad and shit now. I don't cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told to take ro not to take rides from strangers roads. But at that moment I had no choice. I was scared to think of how long it would take for someone to pass. Evidently not fucking long. 10.23 p.m. I saw a car nearing. Hey, 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 hey. Pure evil. Didn't understand how anybody could leave another human stranded like that. Well, if you fucking heeded the fucking clerk's fucking warning, you could see why. 1043. 20 minutes later. I'll just stand in the middle of the fucking road. Did our battery die? Stop! Ow! Well, I'm glad you stopped, buddy, but you pushed... Is that fucking Toyota Helix? Hold up. I bet it is. You're the girl from the gas station. Eh, what are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I, I can't call for help. There's no phone service. That music is loud. You think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Uh, yeah, just the nearest place. Hop in. How did your fucking... You know what? No. How did you pop your tailgate? Can't forget the dog food. Milo will be hungry.
Now, granted, I have no problem. Somebody in a situation like this, especially if they got kids, I will pick you up. But fucking keep in mind, you will have something pointed at your side without you knowing if you try anything. You may take me out, but I'm taking us all out. Because America. One more thing, yes, one more thing. Now, if they were smart, they'd have their helmet strapped to the skateboard like we used to. Really? At least I can carry it all. Why would you have your baseball cap in the back? I think that's everything. I'm done. I'm on in. Be quick. He don't like being out here either. Are you working with the man in the white van? No, you don't talk. Okay. So you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? Uh, well, I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. We're going to be nice. Because it may end up come back either to bite us in the ass or help us. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Really. I must say, you are one brave young woman. I fucking knew I was a woman. How's that? What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Or the man in the van decided to do it. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, I didn't listen to a single word. He's really creeped me out or he's funny he really creeped me out interesting idiot tells that to every person traveling down here so is it true what the monster well, let's see i've never seen the monster for myself but there are there are some things and i'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them hey listen i don't want to sound like that moron but just remember this, you don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. It's all right. Use good people for helping me out. Twelve oh wait. Jesus Christ, it took an hour and a half to drive to wherever. After a little bit of some more small talk, he dropped me off. Dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Bye! What the hell was his name? <laughs> Not approved for occupancy. 
Okay. I mean, it's not bad. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yeah, I could. Oh, I love these fucking air conditioners. These are awesome. All right, red wind. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Guess I shouldn't have got that dog food. Room number nine right over there. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Fuck me. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Room number nine. Shit, that's way over there. Not deliver. Nine. Eleven. Ten, nine. I ain't even a goddamn mattress. That's a big ass CRT. No, I didn't you get him to Madre. Fucking asshole. Oh, fuck, it's Tommy. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. You know, cleaning stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Mother. Fucking son of a bitchin' ass cock sucking fucking swine hoon. Oh, now we got a little bit of a fucking run. Hey, asshole, you gave me a room with Tommy in it. Your stuff's right outside. No shit. <sighs> Could I have just used one of these? God damn, that was quick, Tommy. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. asshole now I don't have a sprint no I have a sprint I can't use a fucking luggage dolly really well fuck ye oh my god No, 
Tommy's on it already. Damn. And no fears of fathom. There are multiple fucking endings. I mean, all in all, it's really not that bad of a fucking motel. I've seen worse. Look for some fucking bugs. It's actually really nice. That's scary. It's a copyright. Let's go to bed. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. You can't turn the lights off. I don't want to get a cup of coffee. I don't want a fucking cup of coffee, man. Motherfucker is on one side of me and I don't know what side. Everybody else is smart enough. They got the blinds pulled. What the fuck is that building supposed to be? Road close signs. Never trust a fucking coffee machine that it doesn't cost anything. Whoa. Heavy fucking breathing and black screen. Whoa, bruh, everything. Oh, <laughs> the coffee was spiked, man. Whoa. Bugger, bitch, sleep it off. Lock the door, barricade that bitch, and just fucking sleep it off. That's all you're gonna be able to do. Three eighteen, the witching hour. I was sedated. Yeah, no shit. Ah, my ears. Somebody is in the closet. There it is. Motherfucker, I knew it. I got got. <sighs> Shit. Oh, there's an autosave. Okay, good. Thank God. This is a lot longer than fucking uh, the Home Alone one. Oh, but I'm still going to do all this. Uh, okay, we'll be 
back as soon as we get drugged. Alright, amigos, we are back. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, but... We were still sedated. I even tried the espresso. Didn't work. Oh shit, I'm still fucking drugged. Alright, motherfuckers leaving. The fuck is he doing? Tell you right now, that curtain rod's coming off, and I'm beating a motherfucker. I can wait you out, motherfucker. Mm hmm. Still hear you creaking around out there. I love how she's like, I don't feel safe going out there. Don't feel safe going in your room. Do I just wait in the fucking bed? I know he's in there. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. Okay, okay. Here, I've had enough of your crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my jab. All the lights around the backside would not be fucking... Watch it not be there now. It was here, Joe. I swear to God. Go back to your room. I said go back now. 
there should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. So Joe knows what's going on. Because as soon as we went towards that room, I don't like this. Get drugged by a coffee machine and now we're being handed medication from the creepy goddamn fucking attendant. So, what in the hell is going on here? So, Joe knows something. He's just not telling us. Whoa, shit's getting blurry again. All right, there we go. Uh... Muchachos. No. I can say here. I guess we gotta actually answer him. Please open the door, I need help. I need your help, please, please open the door. That's how they get you. I know you're in there. God damn it, do we gotta keep actually fucking talking to this fucker? I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. Go where I'm calling the fucking cops. 
Pretty lady, come on. Sniff my panties, I got them on. Shh. Get him, Joe. Get him. Oh, Joe got him. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would be affecting the motel's reputation and let, uh, let go of the situation. I believe that town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long, long road trips again. I would always take the planes. Oh, cool. Well, that was Norwood Hitchhike. That was pretty good. I might look into getting the rest of them. If you all enjoyed. This is an interesting, uh, scene. Okay, I like that little animation it did at the end. As I was saying, if you all enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Recommend something else spooky or otherwise interesting. As always, be good to one another. I'll catch you in the next one. And beware the Norns.